Check this out, a robot being taught how to fight while their brand new model is already doing this and the other robots are already starting work at PGA Tour events. The hardware is accelerating so fast, it's almost impossible to track. But all of that, that's not even the real story. The truly scary part is the new plan to get these robots into our homes. It's a plan that puts a total stranger with a VR headset inside your house, seeing through its eyes, controlling its hands. And if your first reaction to that is a mix of, wow, that's cool, and wait, that's f I'm afraid then you're in the right place. This is the conversation we have to have. The race for robot supremacy is blowing past every single safety stop. And the finish line, it's your front door. So what is this plan and why is it so terrifying? To understand it, you first need to know about the data problem. This is the figure 03. It's sleek, it's capable, and it's already doing human tasks. But the hardware isn't the problem. I was just reading this massive Time Magazine article on it. And in it, they interview the CEO, Brett Adcock, about what's holding these robots back. So like, how do you get from there to your vision of general robotic overlord that can do anything you want it to? Yeah, overlord, nice. Um, I think the short answer is we feel like data fixes almost all this at this point. Think about what that means. The robot's body is already capable. The only thing it needs to get better is more data. So the new race is, how do we get that data? Well, this other company just unveiled a new plan to solve it. It's equal parts brilliant and terrifying. This is Neo from a company called One X. You can pre-order it right now. And how does it know how to do all your chores? First, it doesn't, because Neo's learning model is to start as a tele-operated robot. That's a fancy word for remote control. That's right, a human somewhere else in the world puts on a VR headset and becomes the robot in your home. They see through its eyes, they control its hands, they do your chores. And all the while, the robot's AI is watching, learning, and gathering data from the most complex environment on Earth, your house. They are building the most advanced data collection fleet ever by selling it to us. And this is where the alignment problem gets personal. We're so focused on, can it fold a shirt, that we're forgetting to ask, what if a teller operator uses it to unlock my front door? And this is all happening for one reason, because the finish line is here. Leaked documents show Amazon has a goal to automate 75% of its tasks. This isn't a projection, this is a business objective. And in China, the Tian Kung robot has already officially started work on an assembly line. The job displacement isn't a what if scenario, it's a how many, how soon reality. And this brings us back to that slippery slope. First, it was an entertaining combat bot. Then it became an in-home data collector, learning our lives. Then it becomes an economic displacer, taking those jobs. And that brings us to the final step, the one we're not supposed to talk about. This is the dual use dilemma, but it's even scarier than we thought. And it's not just about a robot in your house, it's about what that robot can physically do. This footage is all over the internet. It's almost impossible to knock this thing down. And when it falls, it gets up faster than Bruce Lee. Now, combine that superhuman body with the malicious brain of a human teleoperator. We used to worry about a rogue AI. What happens when a bad actor gets their hands on one of these? Or a thousand of these? We don't even have to guess. But now we have a much more immediate threat. Thousands of robots in homes and businesses that don't need a rogue AI. They just need one malicious human teller operator, one hacked data stream, one person with a VR headset and bad intentions. They don't need to be fully autonomous to be dangerous, they just need to be connected. This is why the alignment problem is so critical. The question isn't just can we build it, we are. The question is what are we aligning it to and what are we sacrificing in terms of privacy, security and our own jobs just to get it done faster. So what do you think? Is this the future you want? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you're not a bot and are wrestling with these questions too, hit the subscribe button. This is the conversation we need to be having. Thanks for watching.